hello once again you all are welcome in my channel today we are going to you know uh, i will tell you how to install our tenor tool um, tenor tool is one of the tool which is used which is very very uh, you know very promising tool and which is used widely in v uh, vlsi design and uh, you know earlier i was working on tenor 13 but now the different version will uh, is coming in the uh, is 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 in the market that is tenor with the name of tenor 16 or tenor 16.3 tool and also it is also called you know tenor 2020 but uh, i will reveal you that it is a tenor tool 16.3 version that is how and uh, i will tell you how to you know install this tool and this tool is very very important for the research i did my research on tenor tool 13 and uh, will show you you know little bit uh, the tricks how you can do your task on tenor uh, 16.3 so before starting this video so so let us start this video and we'll see how in this video we'll see you know how to install the tenor tool 16.3 version and it is this video will be helpful for all those who are you know vlsi enthusiast so let us explore this see this is the this is the tool which is you know available uh, this this kind of file you may have you may get it from the net very easily and uh, i will you know send uh, i will also put a link in the in the description box where from where you can you know download this uh, tenor tool for your research purpose uh, and it is a student version you know it is not can be used for an industry purpose but definitely the you can do any kind of analysis on this so let us explore this this is a see this is a this is this kind of once uh, through the link in the description box you can have you know tenor tool 2020 in a winzip format you first have to you know extract it and you will get these two files with with you so what you have to do initially you have to go to the tenor and then it is a 64 bit mind it it is not working with the 34 32 bit uh, processors i also already tried it so don't you know waste your time you just uh, go to the setup there are there is this this is setup icon and this is an application you have to just you know click on this and uh, run anyway you have to do run anyway once you do it then it will you know ask you do you want to make the changes to computer yes so once you do this it will ask for a typical workstation so you have to say yes next and uh, local licenses you have to select and uh, and uh, you have to go forward and, uh, and you have to install this since i already installed install this so i'll break that uh, process over here <laughs> sorry so so see once you press install it will you know uh, install the, all the process and uh, you need not to be do anything you just have to select the local license and uh, this will you know install it automatically once you installed it you have these kind of files at the you know at uh, your uh, desktop now there are four five uh, five basically uh, packages are there one is s edit other is lvs t spice w edit and l edit i already made one video it is just like you know tenor tool 13 so you just go there and you know you can find uh, that files from there very easily so once you install this now how to install the patch this is very important and you know very tricky so what you have to do you have to go to the you know the folder that have already have uh, patch file in it so you just go to the patch file and you have to copy all these you know files uh, from the uh, patch and uh, you have to paste it into the c drive where this tanner get installed c drive program file there is you know there is a tanner eda folder and uh, here you have to paste it in tanner uh, tool 16.3 folder you have to you know just paste it over here these files are already there so you once you pasted it it will ask for you you know overwrite so you you should have to select the overwrite so once you overwrite it and uh, then you have to create one folder with the name of legacy and in this you have to paste l edit and w edit file you have to take it take it from there only see i'll show you l edit see this is the l edit file similarly as uh, w edit so this is a w edit file these two files you have to you know 
copy and paste it in this folder you have to create this folder with the name of legacy and in legacy you have to paste these two files once you pasted this file still you know your tanner will not start working there is one uh, step more left what you have to do next you have to just uh, go to you know go go back to the uh, go back to the go back to the c drive uh, go back to the download where you you know downloaded the tanner tool and uh, there is a you know one file there that is umc05 this is the file you have to click it and uh, and then you have to you know copy all these files and uh, you have to copy all these files and uh, go back to the c drive again and in the c drive program file tanner tool tanner tda and in this tanner tda again you have to you know and now this time you have to copy the files that you copied from there into into these files you have to paste in the patch yeah here you have to paste it so once you paste it here and uh, after that once you close it you have to click it on you know s edit uh, okay i already opened it so once you clicked on s edit you may have you know the s edit working without any license error as shown in this just wait i will show you it is it is started working without any error license error one thing you have to keep in your mind that is the last thing from my side and the last advice that is your internet must be off throughout then only this uh, you know tanner tool get installed otherwise it will not get installed so uh, there are only three steps all although these steps are also you know mentioned in the folder in the folder that you get i'll show you yeah see in the in the download you you see in this there is a readme file also you just click it there is nothing you know available so the only thing is you have to just install it and then the patch uh, you have to first of all we'll see the quick recap you have to you know start the setup then and after you in this you have to take care only one point that is uh, select the local licenses wherever it is you know asked and then after you know, after doing this you have to go to the patch copy these files and copy it into you know c drive uh, in the c drive where there is a tanner pro in the program file where there is a tanner edf folder you have to paste it here once you paste it it will ask you cop uh, overwrite you just have to overwrite it and then copy and then create a folder legacy in this legacy you have to you know create these two and one thing more uh, the example setup no so i i hope you understand this and uh, this will help for you to know you know to install a tanner tool in a better way in, into your system and once you have this we will you know in the upcoming videos i will tell you how to start working on the tanner tool 2020 or what we call the version 16.3 and it is one of the most important tool for wheeler size you know enthusiast engineers and there are lot of you know changes are there and uh, not only the uh not only the mm, not only what we did it in 16 uh, tanner tool 13 that is uh, uh, various analysis apart from that there is one very very beautiful feature where you can you know export the acidit file into the elided file directly so in the upcoming videos we will reveal that also how to you know start working on tanner tool 16.3 i hope this video will help you all in case you have any query you may ask me in my uh, on my email id it is given below or you may contact me also so with this hope uh, so this is uh, i think this is enough for this video we will meet soon again with a new video with a new concept till then stay tuned bye bye thank you